today we are going to show that crawl of electric field equals minus del b by del t in this relation b vector is magnetic field and e vector is electric field and this relation is one of the Maxwell's equation in differential form. There are four Maxwell's equation, okay? As I said earlier, there are four Maxwell's equations in differential form and this is one of the Maxwell's equation in differential form and in order to show this we use Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So I am writing from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction induced emf okay in closed loop equals minus del phi b by del t so we have this let us call it equation 1 and phi b is magnetic flux crossing through the closed path or loop. Now let us understand EMF, okay. We know Wogden equals charge times potential difference. So, Wogden is measured in Joule and charge is measured in Coulomb. So, Joule per Coulomb is the unit of potential difference. So, the unit of potential difference is volt equals Joule per Coulomb. So, this is unit of potential difference and we know electric field okay in magnitude equals force per unit test charge so we have this okay electric field equals force per unit test charge or positive test charge so we have this now, EMF equals Wogden per unit charge. So, Wogden is measured in Joule and charge is measured in Coulomb. So, EMF equals potential difference, okay, because the unit for EMF is joule per coulomb and joule per coulomb is volt clear so in that sense we can write emf equals potential difference equals work done per unit charge and work done is force dot displacement and we have charge okay in this way now we can rearrange this force by charge dot displacement and this ratio is electric field. So, we can write EMF equals potential difference equals electric field dot 
displacement. So we can write EMF, okay, in integral form, line integral of electric field throughout the closed path. So we have this. So C represent contour or closed path. So we have this. Now we are going to replace EMF, okay, on the left hand side of equation 1 by line integral of electric field throughout the closed path. So we can write in this way line integral of electric field throughout the closed path equals minus del by del t and we know magnetic flux equals surface integral okay surface integral of magnetic field throughout the closed surface so we have this now this is c okay now magnetic field varies with time okay and ds vector is constant with respect to time so it does not vary okay this is area vector so it is independent of time or is constant with time so we can write in this way okay we can write in this way magnetic field varies with time okay and area vector that is ds do not change with time so we are getting this now this is equation 2 so we can see the left hand side of equation 2 okay is the line integral of electric field and the right hand side is the surface integral okay so we have surface integral on right hand side and we have line integral on left hand side so we are going to use gauss sorry stokes theorem okay so we are going to use stokes theorem so a vector is vector field okay so mathematically we can write stokes theorem in this way okay line integral of vector a okay throughout the closed path equals surface integral of crawl of a vector or vector field a throughout the closed surface so we have this this is the mathematical statement of stokes theorem now let us replace a vector by electric field so we can rewrite this relation as line integral of electric field throughout the closed path equals surface integral of crawl of electric field okay throughout the closed surface so we can understand in this way let's say we have a closed loop okay 
this is a closed loop or count and it is enclosing a surface okay it is enclosing so we can understand in this way a surface s clear and let us take a small elementary area okay having area ds in magnitude so we have this clear so we can realize this statement with reference to this so this is the closed path or closed loop clear which is enclosing a surface s clear now we can see the left hand side of equation 2 okay can be replaced by this integral okay after applying stokes theorem so what we do using stokes theorem on left hand side of equation 2 okay we can write surface integral of crawl of electric field throughout the closed surface so we write in this way equals minus and we have surface integral throughout the closed surface del b by del t dot ds vector okay so we have this now let us do some simplification okay So, I am taking the right hand side, okay, towards the left hand side. So, we have this. Pole equals 0. So, we have this. Now, if ds vector is not equal to 0, okay, then the integrand, okay. So, this is the integrand. This is the integrand, okay. Then the integrand crawl of electric field plus del b by del t equals 0. So, we can write crawl of electric field equals minus del b by del t. So, we get this. Okay. So, this is one of the Maxwell's equation in differential form. And in order to show this, okay, we have started from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction.